Well, the question a lot of people have been asking is that uh, Buhari, who claimed he wanted to fight corruption, and when he came on board the first time, just like uh, Tinubu is just doing uh, this uh, initial gra gra, that was what uh, Buhari was doing. Even in the case of Buhari, he was not even doing much, but they were talking about a uh, body language, body language. First six months, he was unable to appoint his ministers, and people were a lot of things were really taking shape, even just like uh, electricity, power supply, people were. Uh, giving testimony that yeah, Buari, the fear of Buari is the beginning of uh, wisdom and all of that. And Buari, from his first speech, said, If Nigeria does not kill corruption, that corruption will kill Nigeria. Everybody was, Ah, it is true, go man, go man, yes, you are doing the right thing. And also, he was talking about, Oh, I belong to nobody, I belong to everybody. People say, Yes, you know, quote, everybody was quoting the last statements. No, no, he said, Befuele. That was how we smart uh, we, we, we Nigerians suffered for all eight years. Nothing they happened. So the person the question we are asking uh, because with this video that is going viral, that uh, these were the things that were caught in a uh, in Mefele's house, whether that place was his house, whether that place was his office, you know that's going to use a uh, Fele as his scapegoat because it's like nobody is just sympathizing with a uh, Fele because he's not even remorseful with all that he did. What they are trying to say is that a lot of people died because of this uh, cash redesigning or Nara redesigning and all of that. So people were complaining and all of that. The man was just like, eh, eh that is just that needed to be doing, eh, that needed to be done. They promised heaven and earth, saying that eh, that's a money, eh, that re Nara redesign is going to curb inflation, is going to do this. We say, hmm, now today. And the question a lot of people were asking because it was Buari, if Buari never signed it or approved of it he wouldn't have gone ahead to do it what was Buari waiting for three years before that time nobody could answer and irrespective of anything now uh, it is a mefele that is going to use his head to carry most of these uh, problems nobody is talking about uh, how useless Buari government was like i've always said some people say yeah in the area of infrastructure you have to give it to him i say what are you giving to him area of infrastructure you just think you score 10 percent out of 100 you want the electoral to score you high he doesn't work that way and that is what majority of these politicians have been doing a majority of the, uh, the past government they are not even up to a uh, uh, pass mark they will be shouting on top of the roof because when you ask them okay with all of the things because i'm always asking the question i'm one of the people who has this question if uh government a said he did his government he says it, since uh, we got our independence and now we are still crawling. Are we even crawling? We are not even crawling, uh, crawling as we are supposed to be doing. But if all of them, because none of them will come out and say, oh, they have not tried in their own time. But put everything together. Where is Nigeria today? Where can you place Nigeria? Nowhere. We are retrogressing drastically. Why is it that Buhari, who was, who was crying, he wanted to fight corruption? Because now people are seeing a Mayfellet's action as act of impunity corruption and what have you buari is the one who they said is is a man of integrity is a this is a disciplined man but tinubu is the one who is it and tinubu type could not even say anything the only reason why tinubu was complaining about a, a mayfellers action during the election he said everything was targeted at him so it's not because of the nigerian people because i was saying it then it's not because of the people now you two you are coming on board if really he is is really he was talking because of the people, or maybe he had the people in mind. He just came on board first time. You say, oh, people are hailing him. Oh, he's, he's talking about do. He's doing this. He's, he's to me. It doesn't make any sense. And the same suffering that Emefele melted on Nigerians is the same thing you are doing as well. Signing and signing and signing is not a out of a good governance. So now it is Emefele they are going to use to clean all the mess because what we are supposed to be talking now is Buhari. In as much as people, we are still going to be blaming Buhari, it may feel like get you for body because if you are sincere, you ought to have resigned. If you were, you were told to do some certain things that is not, you know, bringing glory to your office, because this time it has not been in the history that this is the first time CBN governor that acted with impunity. He did not even hide it. Coming out to even say he wanted to contest for the position of the president is what is even giving a lot of people. You know headache that why should they be so but w before he did he did that when he went to go and register as an apc member did they say anything with the same all this thing see there's nothing this thing is going to do because all the rubbish that happened 
I'm always using a she will sign as an example. He was in APC and he was condemning some of the things that they were doing throughout the eight years of Buari. Tinubu never condemned all the condemned all these things. And I'm even surprised about uh, those who are saying the Milokon uh, tribe who are saying all this is they were complaining. Tinubu could not say anything, he could not even fight for them, he could not even say a word. Even in the southwest, when there is any calamity or any outbreak of any sort, sort he won't say anything. But let it let it happen in the north, it will run down there. The same set of people. That's the time we just tell you that these guys are hypocrites. He never complained, he never condemned any action of a, a Buari because he wanted to be on this position. So why is it that it is now you are talking? And judging from the fact that his own baggages are just there for everybody to see, what are we talking about? All of them, Yemifelo, Buhari, Tinubu, forget it. Is it not the same Tinubu who carry bullion van? Have we forgotten so fast? This man, to me, I don't, I don't, I'm not even going to take them serious. If he wants to, of course, I don't even expect people are even blaming Buari. That why didn't he change uh, Emefele? Because it was good luck Jonathan that appointed Emefele. Why didn't he change him? Some people say, oh, maybe he doesn't have the power to do that. He shouldn't have. But good luck Jonathan removed Sanusi. So what are we talking about? So these were the things that they said they caught in his house, whether it is true or not. But you know, APC propaganda, ah, just for people to say, yes, we said it. And these are uh, current ad currencies. Dollars, wow! You know, as soon as they arrested him, the rumor came out that uh, they arrested him because of the one billion dollar he he gave to Danguti. Danguti came out and debunked it. Of course, what do you expect? Even if it is true, even if it is true, do you expect uh, Danguti to agree to that? No, he won't agree to that. So it's just paddy paddy. The issue of a uh, Dasuki with a uh, Jonathan and Buhar. Where did he come out of it today? NDDC, the man that is now the Senate president. Off your mic, off your mic. Where did it come happen? Nothing, not today. I pity those who do not even know they are left from their right because they want to say something and just to support anything or to justify the reason why they voted this man. They will continue to be like, do or act in that manner. Mm. In, in the 60s, we were, people were complaining. It's just like, a, it just like, just like, or oh, just that a Nigeria case is just getting worse and worse. We are going back, back. You can imagine people were saying, Oh, Obasan just time was this. Yaradra enter. They were praising Yaradra. Hey, Jonathan. Just like that. Why is it that we cannot even continue to progress? We are retrogressing. So it has always been. All of this, we will know where they will end and how it's going to impact on Nigerians, whether positively. Or negatively. So guys, let's say your opinion and have your second list.